Good morning guys, it is about 7 a.m. and it's Tuesday and today I'm going to be vlogging. Um, I'm going to the gym first today and getting that out of the way early and I am currently studying for my MCAT exam. I'm scheduled to take it in March so I kind of wanted to give you guys a glimpse into what a day of MCAT studying looks like. I aim for about like six to eight hours of studying a day so hopefully today we can hit that eight hour mark and yeah i like to get the gym out of the way early it wakes me up and it's just like my me time in the morning and then i get my workout out of the way and i can come home and just focus solely on studying for my gym outfit today i'm just wearing this gray crop tank top from lululemon this white sports bra and then these pink lululemon aligns they're like a really pretty pink color and then i'm just wearing my white ultra boosts and today I'm going to be hitting legs. I'm planning on only being there for an hour to an hour and a half. I just got done at the gym and this is my little workout summary so it was about an hour of a workout I did a lot I did squats hip thrusts leg press lunges abductors and then the leg extension machine so for an hour I did pretty good and my average heart rate was pretty high that's around where I wanted it so yeah it was a good workout I'm glad I got that in before starting studying and Unfortunately, there was like a ton of traffic to the gym because my gym is in Tampa, but it's like going towards downtown and I just so happen to work out right around rush hour. So I'm still trying to work that out. I might have to get up like an hour earlier and do that instead. I'm not sure yet. And the drive back is always fine, but it's driving there. It takes a little bit longer. It's usually like a 20 minute drive and it turns into a 30 or 40 minute drive. So yeah, it's, um, I think it's 9.45 now, so I'm gonna go inside, eat, shower, and then get to studying, and I take, um, this protein shake to the gym with me just so I can eat something immediately after. I usually don't eat before the gym, so it's important for me to get protein in right after I work out. And with a long drive and stuff too, it's just easier that way. So now I'm going to go inside and get ready for the day. to pick up a package from downstairs in my office and it was a headboard for my bed so I had to spend time assembling that my boyfriend helped me he did basically everything but I was helping him so that took a little bit of time that I wasn't anticipating today but that's okay so now I'm going to get into studying and I do want to meal prep a little later on today but that can be used as like a study break dinner break type of thing and also, it is such a beautiful day out. This is right outside my window. It is so pretty outside. It's like 70 degrees. So I think what I'm going to do is put my swimsuit on for a little bit today and go upstairs. And I can do some type of studying upstairs. We have like a rooftop pool. That's why I'm saying upstairs. <laughs> but basically, I can lay out while I do my Anki cards and while I read my Psych So stock. And that's just like a 300 page document of psychology and sociology and I'll get into more of that later like all of the different study tools that I use and companies and all that stuff it's super confusing and there's a lot of resources for the MCAT so yeah I think what I'm gonna do right now is do some daily cars practice um, I'm gonna lay out my planner for the day to get an idea of what hours I want to do what and how many hours I can fit in today. It might be more like six or seven today. We'll just have to see how late I can stay up tonight because I am getting a late start compared to what I normally do. I already filled this out today, but I just wanted to show you guys. 
So I write down the time that I'm going to the gym. I did legs today. And then I basically fill it out from there. And then on the right hand side, this is a checklist. And this is certainly not everything I'm going to get done today. Um, how I like to use this is I write down everything that needs to be done in general so I don't forget, like call dentist, clean apartment, hang shelves, order contacts, that stuff probably will not get done today. But I like to put it on here because when I do take study breaks, I can quickly like order contacts online or figure out when I'm going to shadow or whatever it may be. So that is why like I put these things down here. And then up here, these are like higher priority, but those are the things that I want to get done MCAT wise. In Anki, I like to do every single day. Some days I don't get through all of it, but I really think that has helped increase my scores a lot so far. So that's something simple I can do every day that really helps. Oh, Mila wants to say hi. Hi, Mila. Hi. She got a new pink flower, so she's excited. But yeah, so... And then I really like this planner because it has the top three. So those are the top three things that you want to get done for today. And this is where it really helps me a lot because I can narrow down from this big to-do list what is the most important that I get done today. And if I mark those three things off, then I can start moving down this list. I just sat down to review one of my practice exams. I took it a few days ago and I've kind of been working through it and figuring out what questions I got wrong. And it's important to go through the exams and figure out the questions you got wrong and why you got them wrong. And also to go through the questions you got right because with that large of an exam, there may have been ones that you guessed on and just got lucky. So it's important to review all of the content and I took an AAMC practice and those are the most representative of the actual MCAT. So you wanna go through those very precisely because that's what your test will be like on test day. So I'm gonna show you guys how I review these exams and it does take me a few days. Like at first, I thought it should just take me the next day, if that, to review and it does the way I've been doing it right now, it takes me like three to four days to get through every section and to review the content I want to get through. So right now I'm working on bio and biochem and I started with that first because that was my lowest score on this section. And I'm having a little bit of trouble with the passages and just the research-based type of passages. So that's something I'm looking to improve on. And I'm always gonna start with my lowest score subject because that's the most area to make improvement on and then work my way up from there. So I make an excel sheet and on this excel sheet is every question that I've missed for this specific exam. I'll show you guys it's split by section and then so the, this is the section this is going to be the subject this is the question number this is the answer that I put. This is the correct answer. This is why the answer that's correct is correct and why my answer was not correct. And then these are any additional things that I need to go over or go back to content review on. And the highlighting, so I highlight all of the boxes once I feel confident on that subject and have gone back and reviewed anything that I need to review. And then the white ones are ones that still need to be reviewed. So yeah, I just break it down by section. This can be really tedious. It takes a long time, but it has improved my score a lot from my first exam to my second exam, like I think eight points. So it has helped me a lot. and. I'm hoping that it will continue to help me a lot and it just really helps you zero in on your content weaknesses and gives you kind of a guide of where to go back and review the content. I'm 
getting ready to meal prep and I'm going to be making some red potatoes in the oven, green beans in the oven. These organic mix mixed vegetables are from Costco. They're just like in bulk and I can make those in the microwave. Um, brown basmati rice in my rice maker and then I'm also making lean ground beef and my boyfriend Alex is going to be grilling chicken. So that's basically all of our meals. We're going to make eight for each of us i think so that'll get us through the rest of the week and it's just super nice if you're on the go to do the meal prep and then i also have my spices here i put taco seasoning on the lean ground beef i'm gonna try the italian herb seasoning on the potatoes salt can go on the potatoes and the green beans Pepper goes on the green beans and the potatoes as well, and then olive oil to cook the potatoes and the green beans in. I just finished meal prepping and this is by far the worst part of meal prepping but it took me about two and a half hours to make a lot of meals so I'm glad I got that done. I'm gonna run through these dishes real quick now. just finished up with the dishes and meal prepping and I ate a quick dinner so it's about 9 p.m. now and I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here tonight I'm just planning on reviewing my full length starting the cars review and then um, I'll probably before I go to bed I have some more Anki cards to review I had like triple the amount that I normally do today so I'm still behind on those I might do that or just read the document for a few minutes and then I will go to bed. And let me know what you guys think, but I am thinking about doing like an MCAT series leading up to my MCAT, just like weekly vlogs maybe, about my studying, where I'm at with everything, and I think it can be a really good resource. Um, I like to watch vlogs like that with the MCAT, and I've noticed that there's not a lot out there, and I think number one, it's because when you're studying for the MCAT, you're very focused on the MCAT. But I also think it's like a little daunting to put your journey out there when you don't know if you're going to do well or not. But I want to help you guys as much as I can and be open throughout the process and show you guys the whole entire process, I guess. And the stress leading up to it and studying and working through everything. So yeah, I am hoping to do the MCAT series. Let me know if you guys would like watching that. And please subscribe to my channel and like and comment below and I will see you guys next time.